just got this awesome new micro tack welder in. Let's see how it does. It's really sort of a glorified capacitor, but it's really cool. Alright, getting the Orion 100C uh, micro arc welder set up. Got the tank of argon here that plugged in all the stuff according to the manual, uh, which is right here. It was really easy to follow the instructions. Um, I'll just show you where what to plug in and when. There's basically no way you can do it wrong. It's uh, so easy to set this thing up. So you get your argon in there. You got your uh, main tool here that does the welding. This this is a little arc guy with the uh, sharpened tip. Your main power. This wire here uh, blanks the microscope. So there's a slide in here that that uh, darkens the screen just as the shot's happening. And you want that. I looked. I tried to watch one of the welds and it was painfully bright. Uh, this guy here is the foot switch, so there's actually a switch down there. Uh, you can operate by foot if you want. And yeah, it was really easy to set up. The microscope basically came assembled. Uh, I just had to put this guy in here. It's got a really nice little work light on it. Spin the main unit around a bit here. So all I have to do is turn the gas on. I've already got it set. Had it set for about 7 PSI. Um, so uh, on the screen here, you can purge the gas by going to settings and then uh, click the gas tab and then hit purge gas. And you can see now my pressure is right down where it should be at 7 PSI. And I've also purged the line so it doesn't have argon in it now. First thing you need to do is plug in your ground clip and ground the piece that you're working on. And at this point I'm going to be trying to join two pieces together, so I need two grounds uh, to be sure. So I just piggyback these together and clip this guy on the second piece. These are two pieces of uh, titanium 6-4 uh, and they are uh, uh, they're just they're about a sixteenth of an inch thick I think. So uh, we're going to try to join these together and I'm going to try to show you what it looks like through the microscope. Here's the screen, and you can see it blank out there while it was welding. I have it on touch detect right now, so right at the seam, uh, it's just touching and going. And I'm just putting a series of tacks here. It's on uh, 16 joules of energy. Okay, and just for effect, I'll show you without the microscope. Don't forget to have yourself a little carbon filter with a fan nearby. It does smell a little bit when you're uh, making sparks. As always, kind of sort of like an ozone smell. So just to show some of the different spot sizes here, uh, these were all done with 16 watt seconds of energy or 16 joules. Uh, these guys here were done with 25, and the big ones are about 48 joules uh, per per weld. So you can see that the spot the spot size is quite a bit smaller for low energy and quite a bit bigger for high energy. These are these are uh, something like uh, some about an eighth of an inch in diameter, I would say, for the big guys. All right, I'm going to try to weld some razor blades together here. It's supposed to be a difficult test, and I think it is. Okay, 
pretty close to my fingers there. Okay. Not terrible for my first try, welding razor blades together. Pretty smooth. 